Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, with four office locations and appointments 365 days a year, is committed to providing quality health care to children and families in Southern Indiana. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation, and by WTIU members. Thank you. Hey, Matt, I'm ready for today's show. What? Today's show is all about air. Oh. I thought you said hair. Friday, Friday. The week is done and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Fridays. There's so much to see. Who will we meet? It all happens magically in the Fridays. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Maddie. And I'm Taylor. <laughs> We've got a high flying show for you guys today. That's right, but what goes up must come down. Thanks to gravity, which just so happens to be the name of this song from Rock Noceris on the Friday Zone Taylor. When you ride your bicycle down the street Be sure to keep your head above your seat We've got a friend called Gravity Gravity, yo oh, Gravity might see the dish float away with the spoon so use both hands and hold on tight or they might float away into the night without gravity there's no gravity no gravity gravity sign of gravity that's why your foot's below your knee let's give it up for gravity gravity To the ground, it keeps us on course and makes the planet spin round. Down here on Earth, it's quite commonplace, but up in outer space, there's no gravity. There's no gravity, no gravity, no gravity. Where's gravity? There's no gravity. There's no.
Gravity is what keeps you and me firmly planted to the ground. That's why I need a space pod to travel back home to my planet. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Welcome back, everyone. Since we're learning about gravity today, we've got Abby and Lynn from the Terre Haute Children's Museum. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for having us. What are we learning about today? Gravity. Gravity. <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got a lot of colors, a cool experiment. How does it work? We are going to do an experiment um, showcasing Newton's first law of motion. Um, do you know what that is? I do not. <laughs> it says that an object at motion will stay in motion unless it's acted upon by an outside force, and an okay. object at rest will stay at rest unless it's acted upon. So we're going to okay. test that with these eggs. Cool. So this is something that people can do at home. Um, if you want to hard boil the eggs and you don't want to make a mess, that's good. We did not, so <laughs> if we make a mess, it's going to be awesome. Yes. Um, you just need a cup with water in it, a pie pan. Uh, we have a toilet paper tube supporting the egg and an egg. And um, all you do is hit the pan. And where do you think the egg's going to go? Down into the cup. It is. It's gonna go down. We hope. <laughs> we hope. We hope. So, are you guys ready? You want to see if I'm ready? Let's, let's see what ready? happens. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! <laughs> it just falls wow. right Wait, in. How does that work? So, it was up on the tube, but right. the egg is bigger than the tube, right? Well, the egg is at rest. The egg is constantly at rest. Um, okay. And you hit the pie pan, which pushes it out of the way okay. and knocks the toilet paper tube. And since the egg is just lightly being supported, all it does is go straight down because of gravity. gravity. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try a couple more um, okay, that cool. are a little bit bigger. So we've got two eggs here. And we'll oh see if this see one works. The big one at the same <laughs> time. It makes me more nervous every time. Yep. Okay, okay, they okay. should go at the same. We hope they go at the same time. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> that one works. Okay. And um, we're so actually cool. we're gonna try a really big one and we're gonna let you try this one out. Oh no. It's your turn. It's your I turn. I tend to make messes, yeah. so I'm not sure. No, well hey, that's if we make a mess, then so be it. So these are boiled eggs or these no, are not? No, no, no. Okay. More mess the better. I mean Everyone it's fun. Messes. You don't want a hard boiled egg to fall on the ground and make you know. sure right. you when, want to splatter everywhere. Whenever you put the eggs on, put them on the side. If they sit inside of the toilet paper tube, they're gonna get stuck in the toilet paper tube and they're totally okay, going to go flying. Okay, so on the side like this. Yep, right. like, like that. Make, make sure they're all lined that up. That more than the other ones though, so let me make sure that this Okay. Is, I'm going to make a mess, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to make a mess. It's okay. We've had two successful ones already. So you've we, done this. You've we done have, this and, and if it, we did make a little mess when okay. we did it, and so you have to make sure you hit it straight on. Just so, like Yeah, so this. pop, yep. Okay, Are you ready? Very I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for you. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> you got one! Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Exactly. Okay, so what exactly went wrong? Exactly. Was it the hit? Well, well you, um, I think you might need to hit it with a little bit more force. Not very forceful. But um, <laughs> we can we can try it again if we get easy. it set up. Exactly. Um, it needs to make we need to make sure that the toilet paper tubes are directly over the cups. Okay. Let's see. So we'll try and set that up real quick. Cool. You didn't break the eggs, though. This is so cool that you can do it at home, too. Yeah, exactly. Anybody can do These it. are simple experiments that you can do at home. Um, kids can do it at home with the adult supervision. And uh, Learn just, all about it's a lot of fun. first law. Exactly. So try okay. and hit it with a little bit more force get out this your way time. So you really can get nervous. some more force. <laughs> OK, I want to do it this time. Do OK, it. ready? I hear that you did an experiment of your own. You did. Skydiving. I know. And we have that on video. Exactly. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm here at Skydive in Indianapolis getting ready to do my first tandem skydive. Let's go check it out. Aerodynamically, uh, the way the wings are designed, it makes it for the most comfortable exit okay. for the student. Okay. Uh, and it also forces you to go down when you leave the airplane.
Congratulations. Here we are. <laughs> All right. Awesome. That was so fun. Yes, I think so. I love it. Hey, Jess. 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 Hey,
First, it gets rid of this pa this parachute, the battery, okay. Okay. Right? and then it deploys an emergency parachute. Okay. That's, what still, that's what you still feel on your back right now. That's the extra weight I'm feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, and then let's talk about this too, because I know this has to do a little bit with that emergency chute. A little bit. It, um, this is actually is very important. This okay. is the altimeter. All right. okay. This is what lets us know how high above the ground we are. Okay. All right. So when we want to deploy that main parachute, we'll be doing that about 3,000 feet. Okay, so you know where, right where the, the yellow starts. Mm -hmm. That's kind of your warning like, hey, yeah. it's, time it's, to, you know, it's time to go ahead and yeah. start with the first one. And then when you're in red, it's like, hey, pal, like, yeah. let's get this thing out. Yeah, okay, we cool. should have done something a little while right, ago. Right. So then <laughs> when, we're, when we're going up in the airplane, this will increase and we'll see mm -hmm. how high up yeah. we go. Yeah, when we start. The needle right here, that should be on zero. Okay. All right. As we climb to altitude, this needle is going to go all the way around the face on the altimeter here, and it's actually going to go back to the zero. But it doesn't oh. mean zero anymore. All right. It means we're now at 12,000. Gotcha, gotcha, right. gotcha. And it keeps going. Cool. How high would you normally want to jump? We like to get out somewhere in between 12,000 and 13,000. Okay. And, that's, yeah. and that, why is that a good uh, height? So we get a full 60 seconds of free fall. Oh, we want to be in nice. free fall for a whole minute. Cool. What's the, yeah. what's the longest free fall? Gosh, maybe that the, you longest, guys have done. the longest that, that I've done? Well, we did, uh, we did a high altitude jump at uh -huh. the skydiving center uh -huh. at the beginning of the season. I believe we got out of the plane at, what was it? It was 17, 18,000 feet. Wow. Yeah, so that gave us close to two minutes. <laughs> Not quite, but it almost doubled the free That's time. pretty awesome. Cool. Okay. So, uh, what are, are, there, are there any more things on the actual shoot or, or harness? Uh, that we need to know about? That we need to know about? Well, we do have a little safety feature here. And okay. this safety feature, you can't actually okay. see it. Well, you, oh, can't you can't actually I see can't, it. I can't, but can I, yeah. But you guys at home can. This right here, this is the automatic activation device. If we left the aircraft and did absolutely nothing, uh -huh. didn't try to deploy the main parachute, didn't try to deploy the reserve parachute, that would do it for us. Oh. Yeah. So there is, and just in case maybe you weren't paying attention or you didn't know, yeah. you're, you're not going to just go crashing. Exactly. <laughs> and if you do crash, you've got a you've helmet got a on, helmet right? On. And so that's yes. important. And this is a little bit different than Brayton's helmet. Yeah. Obviously, well, no camera. camera. Yeah. But, and so this is uh, just for safety? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you're in a hurry getting in the plane or you're in a hurry getting out of the plane. Uh -huh. We have a not-so-graceful landing. We'll be happy that we had that helmet on. Yeah, yeah. And then goggles. We we're going to be falling 120 miles an hour. Okay. So those will help us see while we're in free fall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you pack this thing up? Well, because um, I think we have some video of that. Do we, we have video, right? We have video. There it is. Well, what we do when we pack the parachute, we try not to worry about each individual line. So what we'll do is we'll separate them all into uh -huh. different groups. Okay. All right. And we separate those lines into different groups all the way up to the parachute material. And then we actually make sure all the materials on the sides and the lines are in the center. Oh, okay. right. We'll pull the tail up and around it. We'll roll it a little bit. We'll place it down on the ground. We'll start to get the air out of it. Okay. All right. And after we get the air out of it, we try to cram it in that little itty bitty bag right there that gotcha. we just pulled and it out like of. that's like what they're doing yeah, right, right now. There. Okay. All right. Then we'll actually stow the lines with those rubber bands that I talked about. Right, earlier. that you were pulling out first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We put it back inside the container and then we close it up and we're ready to go make another skydive. Cool. That's awesome. Now, okay, uh, can we, let's show them how uh, this harness goes on and off maybe a little bit. Okay, yeah. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start with, we'll just go ahead and undo this here. This is the okay. chest strap. All right? okay. The chest strap's what keeps that harness on your body while that parachute is actually inflating. Okay. All right? So the chest strap's really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you don't want to be slipping out of this. Do you? Mm -mm, <laughs> no. All right. So down here are the leg straps. Obviously, where they're going to keep us in the bottom right, half right. of the harness. All right, so we can go ahead and loosen that up. Okay. If you want to get that one. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Step back here. Just let that okay, slide cool. down. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Shoes and then, well, actually, <laughs> now that we have that off, you guys just want to go ahead and start fold packing. up the shoe? Start packing? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll go well, ahead thank and do you that. guys so much. Bob, Braden, thank Will, you. thank you guys for teaching thank us all about this. Fun. Lynn, thank you. it's always a pleasure. Always Thanks a pleasure. for coming Thanks. in. It was Thanks. great seeing you dive. I wish you could have dived with me. I know. Well, me you too. know, I'm here in spirit That's diving. Right. So. That's right. <laughs> cool. Let's pack this thing up. All right. All right. Show us how it's done. All right. See what I'm doing here? I don't want to worry about each individual line. There's a lot of lines there. So I'm going to separate them into groups. Okay. All right. We have the brake line, we have the rear riser lines, and we have the front riser lines. I'll do the same thing over here. Okay. We're going to walk this up. Oh, my goodness. Hello and welcome. My name is Sam Bartlett, and here is a stunt from the world of stuntology. I think you're going to like this one. Uh, Today's stunt involves 
a ping pong ball, one of my very favorite objects. With a ping pong ball, you can do something kind of amazing if you have the right amount of breath. Doesn't always work, but let's try it out. Take a ping pong ball, take a huge breath of air, and put your head back. <gasps> then, at the right moment, you're gonna let go of the ping pong ball and you're gonna suspend it on a column of air. It's amazing that it works. That was pathetic. Let me try it again. Better. Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we're going to make quick chocolate pudding. <gasps> Who doesn't like chocolate, chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding! That is my favorite! I'm so excited yeah. then, because we're going to make it for you today. It takes a little bit of time in the microwave, okay. but it's worth the wait, I promise. Yeah. Let's get started. Okay, I love okay. chocolate. Okay. Well, first, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Okay. That's easy enough. Yeah, yeah. Just how, how, how much? About a third of a cup. Okay. Just pour that in there. Okay. And I yeah. use regular sugar for this. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. And next, I'm going to use some cocoa powder. <gasps> cocoa powder? Is that how you make it chocolatey? It is. Yeah. But without the sugar, this is really bitter if you oh. eat it by itself. So you've got to add it to the sugar. Okay. Yeah. It's a good combination. Heather, Heather, yeah. did you know that chocolate comes from the cocoa bean? It does. Yeah. And that is in South America. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Felix went there one time. Really? Yeah, it was hot. I yeah, bet it yeah, was. Yeah. It's near the equator. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really hot there. It is really hot there. Maybe maybe in, next time we instead of a microwave, we use the equator. Yeah, oh, yeah. good one. Okay. And now I'm going to use a little bit of cornstarch. Okay, yeah. Two tablespoons. Because this thickens up your pudding a little oh, bit. Otherwise, you just have hot chocolate. Oh. What does cornstarch tastes like? It's not very good by itself. Yeah. But it's really good with cocoa powder and sugar <sighs> and a little bit of milk. We're not ready for the milk yet. Okay. And I'm going to stir it up. Okay. Just like this. Ooh. It's really easy. Yeah, yeah. And it smells good already. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It smells like chocolate. It does. Yeah. And now I'm going to add in the milk, okay. and I'm going to stir it while I pour it. Okay. Do you have to do that? Well, so there's no lumps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless you like lumpy pudding. Nah. 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 Yeah. So I'm adding in the milk. Okay. And I'm going to stir. Yeah. Oh. It's really easy. Yeah. yeah you could do easy. this. Anybody could do You could do that at home. Anyone could do it. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to yeah. stir it again. Okay. And I'm going to add the rest. Okay. That looks good. It does look good. Yeah. Oh, it, it, yeah. it looks more and more like pudding. It is just yeah. like pudding. And when we cook it in the microwave, it'll thicken with the cornstarch. It's okay. kind of like science. Oh. They work together. <gasps> Cooking is science. It is science. Ah. It's like science in the kitchen. Yeah. It tastes better, though. A lot better. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for about two and a half minutes. Okay, two minutes. And then I'm going to check it and stir it, and then I'm going to have to put it back in. Okay. It takes about five minutes, but it's oh, worth the wait. That's a long time. It is a long time, but, but we'll but have to. But pudding is good. I can, I can wait five minutes. Good. And this is so much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm excited. Well, I'm going to check it so it doesn't okay. bubble over. Okay. It's perfect, <gasps> just right. Perfect. And when you take it out if you need to, uh -huh. use a hot pad or an oven mitt just to be safe. Ooh, looks good. It's thick, yeah. it's chocolatey, yeah. and just give it a stir to make sure there are no lumps left. Okay. Can, can I try? You can. You know, I'm, I think I might put it in a little cup for you. You want to try it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be better, that'd be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to try things when it's done, but sometimes you have to wait just in case it's oh, too hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want yeah. you to burn your mouth. I don't want to burn myself. No. Yeah. I'm going to put it in this little dish. Oh. I'm just going to pour it just okay. like this. Oh. So nice and chocolatey yeah. and smooth. Just right. And after it's cooled off for a minute, uh -huh. it's safe to eat. Okay. You want to try some? Uh, just, just a little bit. It's really good. <gasps> 
That is the best chocolate pudding ever! I'm so glad you like it. And it's really good to put a little whipped cream at the top yeah. and a cherry. Yeah. It's really easy. I'm glad you like it. Super easy. <laughs> hey, everyone. Here's that recipe again. You can write it down oh, or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's Super simple. Well, it's joke time with Davy. Joke time with Jack. Joke time with Davy and Jack. I mean Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Dad, what's the richest kind of air? The richest kind of air? I don't know, son. What? A billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys again for coming in and teaching us about gravity. That was super cool. And you know, guys, I might have to keep this suit for myself to work oh, on my dance no. moves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't think you should do No, that. Maddie? No. Uh, all right. Well, guys, thanks again. Remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. We'll see you here next week. Bye. All right. Let's, yeah, let's help Let's help Will. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, with four office locations and appointments 365 days a year, is committed to providing quality health care to children and families in Southern Indiana. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation, and by WTIU members. Thank you. <laughs>